Hello guys, welcome back to Mr. Adrian Crypto Market Update, August 17, 2022. Today, we have a mix day in the crypto market. We have some altcoins that are pumping really hard and some altcoins that are dumping really hard. But we still have a very, very green week in the altcoin market. We still have a very, very green month in the altcoin market. Guys, we are currently in altcoin season. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Bitcoin US dollar price chart. Bitcoin is still ranging around 24,000. Also, we'll be taking a look at Ethereum. How high can Ethereum go in this relief rally? I'm going to see Ethereum get to as high as 2,800. Ethereum looks like it's stalling, waiting for the merge. The merge is happening in September. And guys, then we'll also be taking a look at new stories happening in the crypto world. And then we'll take a look at some market metrics to tell us where we are in this bear market rally. Are we in the end of the rally? Can we start pumping into new all-time highs? Or are we going to keep dumping to Goblin Town? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, if you're new to this channel, and you want to make money holding, trading, or investing in cryptocurrency for the long haul, this is the channel for you. If you want to get up-to-date news, chart analysis, and price prediction, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Let's get down to business. Guys, at the point of recording this video, the altcoin market is very, very green. We are currently in all season. If you have been holding any altcoin in the last 30 days, you would have been shouting kumbaya because altcoins right now are outperforming Bitcoin. The altcoin season index is showing us that we are in a factor of 86. Anytime we are above 75, that is all season. The last major all season we had was in 2021 and all coins went crazy then. So right now, the million dollar question, should we keep buying these all coins? Will they keep pumping into the moon? Because in the last 24 hours, we saw EOS pump over 25%. We saw Tezo pump around 9%. We saw Quant pump more than 6%. Even though we have some all coins dumping, is this the signal to be buying these all coins right now? If we take a look at Bitcoin's price chart, Bitcoin is still hovering around $24,000. This is the line in the sand we drew yesterday. We need Bitcoin to close the candle above $24,000. So that we can start heading towards $32,000. But it looks as if Bitcoin is facing significant resistance around this $24. Only time will tell if we can pass through $24,000 straight to $32,000. You can see that the last time Bitcoin left $24,000, it took Bitcoin just 8 days to get to $32,000. Even when we're dumping to Goblin Town from $32,000, it took Bitcoin just another 7 days to drop to $24,000. So there's no any significant support around here. If we can close the candle above $24,000, we might see Bitcoin trading to as high as $32,000. Guys, this is the Ethereum US dollar price chart. Ethereum has been pumping into the merge. Ethereum is currently trading for $1,893. Ethereum went as high as $2,000. Ethereum has returned over 100% in this real rally. A lot of people are targeting $2,200. Some people are calling for Ethereum to go to as high as $3,000. Only time we tell what Ethereum will do right now. Will Ethereum continue pumping into the merge? Only time we tell right now. We're having a mixed reaction in the altcoin market. You can see on my checklist, I have almost half of the coins in red and I have almost half of the coins in green right now. Let's take a look at some news stories happening in the crypto world. Expansion of short term Bitcoin holders suggests final flush of sellers. Short term holders expanding their Bitcoin indicates that heavy sell off have taken place. Has capitulation happened in the crypto market? A lot of people are talking about we still need one more final dip. Guys, we have been dipping really hard. We had the Celsius situation, we had the Terra Luna situation, we had the TA situation. Do we need more sell off in the market for us to finally say the bottom is in? Only time we tell right now, but a lot of metrics we have been following have been telling us that this is the best time to buy Bitcoin. You have to make that decision for yourself. But Bitcoin traders anticipate nearly yearly low after 25k rejection. Should traders expect further downside after BTC failed to hold above $25,000? Because guys, if Bitcoin doesn't hold that level, I told you guys, we might be heading to Goblin Town. We might go for one final dip and nobody wants to see that. We all want to make money in the market. But guys, you have to position yourself very, very well in this market because the market can pump well to the upside. At the same time, we can drop down to the downside at a very, very quick pace. Bitcoin price hit multi-day low as data warns of overbought stocks. Guys, the stock market has been pumping really hard. Apple is just 5% off its all-time highs. The stock market is at the 0.618 retracement level. But Bitcoin has not been pumping with the stock market. And we know that Bitcoin is highly correlated to the stock market. When the stock market was dumping, Bitcoin was dumping really hard. But what's happening that Bitcoin is not pumping even though the stock market is pumping. Maybe just maybe Bitcoin will pump in the future. But right now, Bitcoin is not doing what we expect it to do. Is that for that science that we need to continue dumping to Goblin Town? Right now, it looks as if Ethereum moving to a POS chain is going to still go on. On September 19, people are talking about the merge. 
Aave calls on members to commit to Ethereum POS chain. The outcome will give a good indication of where Aave token holders stand ahead of the upcoming Ethereum hard fork. This is a very, very big news happening in crypto right now. We have the community split into both ends. Some people say, why is Ethereum leaving the proof of work consensus? Some other people are saying, you know what, because of the climate, yada, 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 we're moving to proof of stake. And a lot of these big companies are coming out to say they are going to support the proof of stake chain. Now, still on Ethereum merge, Coinbase will probably pause Ethereum and ARC20 token deposit and withdrawals during Ethereum merge. The crypto exchange also warned users against scammers offering ETH2 tokens, saying users do not need to take additional action to receive stake Ethereum prior to the merge. Guys, this is actually crazy. Ethereum said it will finally happen. They are getting ready for the merge, but they'll be pausing withdrawals and deposit during that period. Will this be a continuous thing? Now we're going to see other exchanges saying they'll be doing the same thing. Only time we tell. But BNB chain aims to raise 30k new Web3 developers across Latin America. Shout out to Binance. They are making some big, big moves in the bear market. And that's why when we get back to the bull run, you see BNB popping to the moon. A lot of Binance projects are going to be going to the moon. That's what happened in the previous bull run. And now they are laying the foundation for the next bull run. We'll see all the effects of all these things Binance is doing in the next bull run. Crypto scams fall 65%. After gullible noobs exit the market, guys, during the bull run, a lot of people were scammed off of their life savings. But it looks as if the scams in crypto has reduced because a lot of people that get scammed in crypto are the noobs that just got into crypto. They want to get new money, they want to make quick money, quick fast. And since January 2022, scam revenue has fallen more or less in line with Bitcoin pricing. It's not just scam revenue falling, the cumulative numbers of individual transfers to scam so far in 2022 is the lowest it has been in the last four years. Is this a sign that the bear market is over or I'm in the bottom of the bear market? Because even the people that are falling for scams are no longer falling for it, a lot of people are getting wiser with their money. Some other news happening in crypto. Google invested whooping $1.5 billion into blockchain companies 6 September. That's crazy. Other notable corporate investors include BlackRock, Morgan Stanley, Samsung, Goldman Sachs. According to the return from Block Data, guys, if you look at this chart, According to a report from Block Data, guys, if you look at this chart, this is the most active investors in blockchain companies by top 100 public companies from September 2021 till June 2022. I can see that BlackRock has over $1 billion invested in Cycle, FTX, and Anchor Digital. Alphabet, that's Google, is leading with over $1.5 billion investment in Fireblocks, Dab Labs, Voltage, and Digital Currency Group. Crazy that a lot of the mantra in crypto is that we're fighting against the establishment, but the establishment is already in crypto. A lot of these companies have their hands in every blockchain company. Only time we tell if Wall Street is going to take over crypto, but right now, there's a huge fault going around that Solana price is poised for a 95% crash. Somebody is saying Solana is printing a huge head and shoulder pattern and we might see Solana dropping to as low as $2. Only time we tell if that's going to be right is the bear market rally over. We will see Solana go to new all-time highs or to new all-time lows. I personally don't think Solana will get to $2, but I'm not the one controlling the market. Only the market will decide what Solana will do. SEC is still coming for some 2017 ICO project. The SEC filed a lawsuit against Dracon Chain and its founder. The commission said it will be seeking permanent induction, discouraging agreements with prejudgment, interest, civil penalties against conduct-based junctions. This is crazy to see. This is nobody safe out there. A lot of these companies that had ICOs in 2017, the SEC is coming for them. If we take a look at the total crypto market, total crypto market cap is currently at $1.116 six trillion dollars guys we got above 1.17 trillion dollars just some days ago but it looks as if we're consolidating around the 1.1 trillion dollar level if we can finally break through from this level we might see the total crypto market cap getting to as high as 1.5 trillion dollars maybe just maybe we might even see two trillion dollars but only time we tell right now guys the bear market rallies are very very brutal to the upside and i always say this that the hardest part of the move comes in the end when you want to see the market pumping is that final phase when all the bears will turn to bulls and all the bulls will believe that you know what the bear market is over and that's exactly where you want to be careful bitcoin dominance in the market is actually reducing bitcoin dominance is at 40.7 percent bitcoin dominance was as high as 48 percent on the 11th of june 2022 but it looks as if bitcoin dominance is heading towards a new low 
in the last three years. The last time Bitcoin dominance came to as low as 40% was in December 2021, entering January 2021, and all coins were popping then. Even the time in September 2021, all coins were popping in the moon. And in May 2021, that was when all season was in full blown mode. Right now, when all season again, are we going to see all these all coins popping? Or are we just setting ourselves up for a new high in Bitcoin dominance? I won't be shocked to see Bitcoin dominance go as high as maybe 50, maybe even 60% in the bear market guys drop your thoughts in the comment section do you think this relief rally has some juice to go or do you think we'll keep dumping into goblin town because sentiment in the market is showing us that the crypto market is still in fear we are stuck in extreme fear for a very long time so for us to leave extreme fear the market has to pump really hard even though ethereum has pumped over 100 percent in the last one month the market is still stuck in extreme fear people are still undecided a lot of people are sitting on the sidelines with cash waiting for lower prices people are waiting for bitcoin to drop to 14,000 before they will buy a lot of people say they'll get ethereum when it gets to 500 maybe 400 dollars maybe we might never ever see those prices or maybe when we get back to those prices people will not be willing to buy if we take a look at the top gainers and the top losers in the top 100 coins in the last 24 hours we are split both ways we have eos leading the winners chart eos is up over 25 percent in the last 24 hours trezor is up 8.8 percent Quant is up 5.7 percent leo seed is up 4.8 percent and dogecoin dogecoin has been pumping dogecoin is up 4.6 percent in the last 24 hours in the loser section we have social social is down 13 percent in the last 24 hours social has been tearing up socials went up over 400 percent in the last 90 days monero is down 4.17 percent in the last 24 hours Corbex finance is down four percent gems is down three percent and oasis network is down 2.7 percent those are the top gainers and the top losers in the top 100 coins in the last 24 hours the top 10 cryptocurrency by market capitalization is relatively unchanged in the last 24 hours and binance usd is still at number eight we have three stable coins in the top 10 guys what this means is that a lot of people are still holding stable coins waiting for lower prices will they get their wish only time will tell the crypto unicorn index is showing us we have only 56 projects that have a market capitalization of over one billion dollars anytime we have more projects with market cap over one billion dollars it's showing us that the market is very very healthy and anytime the crypto unicorn index is losing numbers it means the market is dumping at the top of the bull run we had over 135 projects that had a market cap of over one billion dollars can we break these all-time highs only time we tell Guys, you want to be careful out there. A lot of people have been getting liquidated in the last 24 hours. Over 42,000 traders were liquidated. And the highest liquidation came in when somebody was trying to trade Bitcoin. That person lost $2.24 million trading Bitcoin. You can see that a lot of these altcoins right here, people are getting liquidated trying to trade them. The market is very, very choppy. Be careful out there. Let's look at some other news stories happening in the crypto world. Guys, BlockFi tops the international 5,000 list with almost 2,500% revenue growth in the last three years the safari crypto lender faced the large fines beheaded by the sec this year and whether the harsh crypto winter to come in as international magazine number one revenue gainer that's good to see some good news in the crypto market social ceo personally directed crypto trades months before bankruptcy this social situation is turning left and right every day now we're hearing the news that the ceo was trading with users phone he was buying and selling bitcoin with users phone and he actually made a huge huge loss and right now socials is filing that they'll run out of money by october socials network has been heading down in a strictly slope since the file for bankruptcy in july 2021 and they say they'll run out of money by october guys another news that i've been taking the crypto space by storm is the tornado cash situation tornado cash shows that defi can't escape regulation defi developers seriously need to consider working with regulation on compliance issues if they want their project to succeed the founder of tornado cash was arrested what did he do nothing all he did was write a code a lot of people have been talking about how that is very very unfair Tornado Cash ban can spell disaster for other privacy protocol, Manta co-founder. The ban of Tornado Cash in the US could have ripple effects across Web3 protocols, particularly one that offered privacy on the blockchain. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think will happen to the founder of Tornado Cash? Do you think Tornado Cash will come back up? Or are we going to get a fuck of Tornado Cash? Because most times in crypto, somebody will just come, write new codes, and then we'll have another alternative. USDT market cap up by $2 billion following Tornado Cash debacle. Theta market capitalization has reversed a three-month downtrend, while USDC see a drop in value after US imposed sanctions against Tornado Cash. The stablecoin battle is still on. Who will win the stablecoin battle? Will it be USDC? or usdt only time we tell right now bitcoin miners hold 25 percent less bitcoin after three months of major selling 
the industry hodlers of last resort have no choice but to sell their coins but the trend is fiercely reversing this month's data show guys hodlers are the last line in the sand if hodlers start capitulating then the bottom is it's good to see that hodlers are not selling their bitcoin at the faster pace that they were selling three months ago maybe just maybe the bottom is in the coin is breaking in silence and that silence has triggered a lot of response from the crypto community people are saying while the developers of Tornado Cash are fearing for their life, the coin is parting, according to podcaster Eric Connor. The coin actually granted an interview, and people are like, the audacity for you to grant an interview after losing over $45 billion of investors' fund. After lying, only time will tell whether his crimes will catch up with him, but right now he's living the soft life, and blue chip NFT's performance failed to recover, but investors huddle even harder. A lot of investors are still holding their NFTs that they bought at the top of the market. People are yellowing to the top, saying NFTs are going to the moon, NFTs are the future. That's what happens at the end of a market cycle. And right now, we're in the depths of the bear market for crypto and for NFTs. Definitely, NFTs are here to stay. But can you huddle through the depths of the bear market? Guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think this relief rally is over? Are we going to continue pumping on the weekly and on the monthly? I want to hear what you have to say about that. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.